So you're just 30 seconds on that one. Great. Uh, James Wright. water tower being built in our area. You see uh, community centers being established. You see all these wonderful things happening within District 1. They didn't just happen. Those happen because of the work that was going on behind the scenes. And I would like to thank the other councilmen because by myself I have a one vote. But working with the other councilmen, we was able to make those things happen. Uh, I would like to continue in the future to work in areas which will encompass the whole city and District 1 as a whole. Those being economic development, infrastructure development, and public safety. These are things that affect each and every person that sits in this room. It's going to affect our children in the future as we go forward. On the economic development, we need to bring more jobs, and I'm talking about particularly into District 1. But in order to bring jobs, you have to develop the infrastructure. A business is not going to develop in an area if you don't have the proper infrastructure developed in that area. Also, job training. It's going to be essential that we have ways to train our children. Back when I was going to school, they had what they called industrial arts. They trained our children in carpentry, electrical, plumbing. They took all of those things out of school, and the middle class has pretty much eroded since then. Those are the type of things that we would need to focus on, job training for our kids. It's easy to say we want a job for, but if they're not trained for that job, I can tell you you're creating another problem. New businesses, creating the businesses that are essential for the needs of the community. We need those. We have to, we have to come here, like I said, to any place to eat. We don't have restaurants. We don't have any of the services we need that need to be provided within our community. I want to work with the city council and the city to start looking in those areas that we can start developing the businesses. We develop the businesses that will create the job. Not the same we do, but how will those things happen? And that's key. Infrastructure. This has been a major problem. A lot of work has been uh, taught. A lot of things have been read about in the city in terms of infrastructure. Infrastructure is something that we have to be careful on when we're talking about new development. And a lot of new development or potential growth is stated for District 1 in the city. We have a charter school that's being built in District 1. Our new high school is going to be built in District 1. And along with those things come a lot of development in and around that area. The schools and that other stuff come, but then you'll see the houses and other things being built. Knowing the land development regulations and working with those and trying to improve those outreach. Well, I said earlier, we need to work to improve those and we can improve those to make those better for the development of our area. Water and sewer. Getting the proper water and sewer out to these areas. We all know we experience what happens when we don't have that. So we don't want to make those mistakes. And my experience allowed me to work with them on those things. Capital improvement. We need more recreation for our kids. Our kids need things to do. Uh, positive things. And these are things that we have lacked. Uh, since I came on council, this is something I have worked hard to get in place. We got the uh, Fry Street Community Center. We renovated the uh, Scott Park. We put a walking track out there. Milgram Hunter Center, I think there was about a million spent the renovation there. But it's all geared to having our kids having something positive to do. And I like to continue to work on those things. Uh, <clears throat> and lastly, like I said, the infrastructure. This is very important. If we don't have the highways and the byways where we can bring the businesses in, the businesses will not come. <clears throat> it's one thing to say we're going to do, but it's another thing to get here and work with this council and a mayor to get those things done. When I first came on council, I had this idea that I could go in and I could change all these things. And my father always told me, he said, son, you want to know how to get something. You find somebody who has done this 
If you ask them how they did it, I saw Sam a picture. I'll be on my side. I asked him, I said, man, listen, I'm going on. He said, that's fine what you want to do, and I hear everything you're saying. He said, but in the end, you got to have four votes to get anything done. And that's the way this council works. You got to have four votes. You got to be able to work with any and everybody to make a project move. And with that, I look forward to uh, serving you again. I hope that y'all consider voting for me again in this next election because I have worked hard. I made great sacrifices for District 1, and I'd like to continue to do so. Thank y'all for this time.